Looking for the review of the newest Glam Shop collection? You know what's the best in such reviews on my channel? I can pronounce names of products and shades properly because I know Polish. Eva, will you really flex with your national language? Yes, I will. Hello and welcome. My name is Eva. Yes, so happened that uh, I am a Polish girl. I am a Pole. I know Polish. <laughs> that would be really um, weird to be a Pole and do not know Polish. Anyway, I have the newest Glam Shop collection, which is Vacacje Lata 70. So um, vacation or the summer holidays. 70s. Oh, of course, names of the palettes as well as names of eyeshadows, the shades you're going to have somewhere on the video. It will be just easier for me to sit down and really think about proper translations. It's not that I don't know translations of, of most of these shades, but uh, Polish language is very like flexible and we like to play with it a lot. And believe me, some names are so like games of words that I really need to think about proper translation for you to make sense or to even explain some colloquialism. So uh, yeah, somewhere on the video you will have all the names, all the translations. Of course, today's video is a collective video. So that means I'm going to use a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You're going to see swatches, you're going to see close-ups. If you are new here, that's a very important thing. If you don't have any idea who I am, or, or maybe you are not as long on this channel to know that I review things really, really well. And yes, I am modest, like mm, very much, but really this review won't just be finished won't end today. First video is most of the time collective video and then I start whole review series, which means I'm going to test every single palette, every single product. I will show you today every single shade. So it's not like I'm going to just take five shades out of 12 and yeah, this is, palette is great, finished review. No, you will see every single shade in action. However, it takes time, so, uh, you know, more videos are coming and because we have three palettes. Before I started recording, I asked you this review, how would you like to see it? mixed these palettes with each other or each palette reviewed separately. And the majority of you, and especially my members of this channel, because their votes are always this, the most special, I wanted to say the specialist, but that's not the word. The most special, you voted to see each palette separately, which in my opinion is like makes sense. However, some of these palettes, actually two of them, has very specific issue. Only four matte shades and eight shimmers. So uh, this will be a little challenging. However, I think it will be worth it because you will see uh, more ideas for these um, palettes, more ideas for makeup looks. This is not the only thing I have today, by the way. I also have uh, this uh, little lip product, this uh, magic color changing lip gloss. I also have three colors of the newest liquid eyeshadows. So I have also three shades of these. I'm going to show you today every single swatch, every single uh, close-up and so on, every single thing I bought. However, I'm not going to use these liquid things today. I'm not going to use every single shade from every single palette, but I will just choose, I don't know, two shades from each palette, maybe three, we'll see. Do something today, for sure test this and then we will start the whole series. I keep my notes, I know exactly which shades I used and which I haven't yet, so don't worry, every single shade will be tested. And for all those of you who are waiting for another video within Multichrome series, don't worry, this series is not dead and I will go back to it. I will have to think how to just coordinate all of it because we have free eyeshadow palette, so we have this, this liquid eyeshadows and then also unfinished business with multichromes. So 
it's going to be a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I hope that majority of you will be satisfied. It won't be easy with so many new stuff. It won't be, and believe me, I plan to have even one more new stuff, but unfortunately, my package is missing. I do not recommend DHL because <laughs> now, <laughs> now they still, it's been a week, they still have no idea where they delivered my package because for sure not to me and the signature on the proof of delivery wasn't also my signature because I sign all documents with my full name or even full name and surname so <laughs> now that wasn't my signature. I'm just happy that it was only the cosmetics and not some more valuable stuff like, I don't know, camera, laptop or any other electrics or something like that. But anyway, when I contact custom service and they say, check your trash bin, I do not recommend DHL, okay? Okay? Fine, great, yes, I'm a little bit pissed, but we are not going to talk about uh, this today. That's like a huge, huge side note. As always, I would like to remind you about my membership zone, the membership of this channel, the possibility to support me, become friends with me, have some additional content and also have some wishes. For example, if you would like to see specific tutorials, specific idea for makeup with specific palette that you know I have, or just, I don't know, video about some topic you want me to talk about, it's all yours, these are the membership for you, so like your wish is my command, of course, within reasons, but of course I know that the biggest perk of my membership zone are my cats, so basically if you would like to support my cats, because I am like on, in the background, right? I am in the background, I only live with them, this membership is my cats membership, it's like the only fans of my cats, so if you'd like to support my cats, <laughs> basically to support their slave, so their slave would do this channel and have some money for their food and treats, then down below you have a join button and also always link in the description box. I very much invite you to join our little membership family. And for all of you who are new here, subscribe because uh, I think that will be worth it because I have a lot, a lot of work with this collection. So if you would like to see a lot of makeup looks, a lot of propositions and the most important thing, every single shade in action, then you know what to do. All right, so I'm going to zoom you in, of course, apply my PUE's base, and meanwhile, you're going to see close-ups and swatches, but be aware, these palettes are so full of particles. It's not glitter, it's just, you know, typical shimmer, but so, so many particles that just don't be surprised that so much shades have particles. They don't have particles, just, it was, almost impossible to clean my hand and to clean my forearm so I'm, I'm so sorry if there will be <laughs> like particles everywhere anyway be right back enjoy your close-ups and swatches
before I do my eyes, I just realized that I have to test this thing first. And yes, I know this is lip gloss. This is lip product. I should test it at the very end. However, this is this thing that will change its color on my lips. So it will change color depending on your pH, depending on your color of your lips, all that stuff. So I first need to know how it will look like because now it can be really... I just assume that now it will be really nice pinkish color, but in the next... Uh, half an hour it will transform into something more hot pink or I had something like this at least once I know how it works and from what I remember on my lips it gets really specific color so uh, to not fail with um, choosing my blush and you know face makeup I would rather to test it now to start testing it now. It doesn't have scent, so for every single one of you who don't like fragrance in your cosmetics, this will be product for you. Let's apply it. Oh, it's really nice in touch, like, mm, like oil, but not in a mm, bad way. It's not like I'm feeling uh, oil on my lips, like oily surface. It just smooth like oil. What I will remember, this thing can stay in your lips. Okay. I've never thought that I will compliment the applicator, but uh, like the softness of this applicator, it's really nice. Like it's nice for the lips. The touch is nice. For now, mm, first of all, it's not sticky at all. It feels really nice, like a lip balm, really. Very nice, like a little oily lip balm, but oily in a good way once again. So for now it looks like my lips, but better with some mm, raspberry tones. But I think that it will get intense in the next at least couple of minutes. So uh, I'll just go do my makeup look, um, my eye makeup look, and we will see the final result on my lips. After I make a look, once again, I'm going to apply my Puris base. I'm going to zoom you in, and finally, you can start. I think I'll use pinks and purples today, looking at this magic color changing lip gloss. I'm thinking that the best would be just more pinkish, uh, purplish makeup look. I'm starting a very classic way. So, beige matte cremowa pianka from the palette Nougatowa and I'm just applying it under my brow to set this area. Rest of my base will be sticky, only this area will be set it. This way is just easier for me to blend eyeshadows towards my brow and I always can go back to matte beige to clean this area. Keeping this area very close to your brow clean makes just your makeup look more professional, just cleaner. Shade Zimna Dzianina and this is from the palette Muśli Nova. And I'm applying it in my outer... Ooh, ooh. Oh, it reminds me about one shade I had once, <laughs> or maybe I still have it. The brand I don't support anymore. It's like pink, but a little bit mauve. Very nice color. I'll just apply it in my outer corner, maybe like this. Now I will take Malinowski palette Sorbety. To be honest, some shades from these palettes, not only because of their names, but because of how they look like, make me hungry <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> make me want to eat something sweet, but sweet like candies, colorful candies, or um, fruits, something like that. Not like chocolate or... No, 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 no. No, something colorful like gummy bears or... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, no, gummy bears. Anyway... <laughs> Going back to this shade, I will apply it maybe here. Oh, why not? Let's just play with makeup. Everything will be, of course, blended anyway, so now I'm only applying shades. I like the Glam Shop formula of their matte eyeshadows. It's really, really good. I can't say any bad word about this formula. 
By the way, after swatching all these palettes, I have to admit that, in my opinion, most of these shades are duochromes or multichrome-ish. Like, not exactly maybe true multichromes, but they have something like multichrome-ish in them. Not, of course, every single shade in this palette, but a lot of them, like, really, a lot of them. And I honestly very much like it. Now I'm taking Niepozorny, also Sorbety palette, and I'm using it to connect these two shades with each other. Yeah, you really are Niepozorny. By the way, finally, really colorful palettes by Glam Shop. Like, yeah, 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 sure, there are some nude shades within these colors, but still, we have colors. We have a lot of colors, actually, especially in shimmers, and shimmers are wow. They are just wow. I already have ideas for some of them, like, maybe not exactly with these palettes, but I just have some ideas. I just see some of these shimmers with other like matte shades from other of my palettes, even within Glam Shop collections. I wouldn't do that, but it's a little bit tempting to just, <laughs> you know, take out <laughs> from these palettes all of these shimmers. But I won't do that. These palettes are just pretty on their own. By the way, besides Nougatowa palette, Muślinowa and Sorbety, isn't really like complete palette. I don't know if you know, but uh, this is what I learned from other makeup artists, actually. Uh, we can talk about two palettes, two like kind of palettes on the market. First are the palettes that are complete palettes and second are like additional palettes. Complete palettes are those kind of palettes that you, you can do like full makeup look no matter what with such palettes. Back in the days <laughs> when we were talking about complete palettes we meant um, most of the time nude palettes. I wouldn't say that this applies today. I would say that um, complete palettes are just these kind of palettes that you really can do daily makeup look, no matter colorful or uh, nude, it doesn't really matter. It can be, really, it can be carnival palette. It can be, you know, palette full of colors or palette, for example, monochromatic only blue one. But what it has to have is like the full range of colors from the lightest one to the darkest one. The best would be beige and uh, black or like super super dark shade within this range. So for example, if this would be a blue palette, then it would be like uh, very light, it can be beige of course, but it can be also, for example, pastel blue and the darkest shade would be like navy blue, like really really deep navy blue. And this is complete palette. Additional palettes are the palettes like two of these, so Muślinowa and Sorbety. These palettes aren't really complete palettes, these are like additional palettes. So if I would really want to take this palette, for example, this palette Sorbety for vacation, then honestly, how many looks I can do? Like, yeah, sure, daily makeup looks okay, but if I would like to do some more crazy stuff for evening, I would have to take other palette with, for example, black eyeshadow. That's why such palettes are called additional palettes, not complete palettes. <laughs> That's some trivia for you. I'm taking a viscosowy from the Muślinowa palette. This is really nice yellowish shade. And I'm applying it a little bit here. I don't want to apply it too much. I only want to a little bit calm down this hot pink and maybe warm this area slightly. Today this yellow won't play the first violin. And now maybe I'll take Mawakawa, Nugatowa palette. And I'll apply it on my lower eyelid, only outer corner. And you see, this is the issue with lack of very dark shades. So this makeup isn't really la like, it doesn't have really much depth. So what I would have to do to make this makeup complete is to add some, I don't know, very dark brown or even dark purple in my outer corner or black 
I'm not sure if I want to do that, although I should actually. And I think that within this whole series, if I would, you know, see the need that I really have to do my outer corner a little bit darker, then yeah, I'm going to use, of course, always matte beige. <laughs> and maybe some additional dark eyeshadow, probably black or really, really dark brown, because I seriously think that uh, these palettes some of them, two of them actually, are just not complete palette and they are like really sp special when we are talking about being not complete. So just excuse me if I'm going to do that, but this is of course the darkest shade from the Nougatowa. So shade Kawa Czekoladowa. I'm not sure if you like it, but this already looks better than this. This is only a slight smudge of color. So unfortunately, to make these looks like, you know, work a little bit better, I think that I will need some help from the outside. <laughs> but if I'm going to add such darker shade, then I'll do it always at the end. So you will be able to see makeup first before I add this shade. Today I don't do that because today is collective video anyway, so I just can apply the darkest shade from Nougatowa palette. Much better! Oh, much better! And yes, I know I have a lot of fallout under my right eye, that's normal. Like, look at this. The fallout, lack of fallout. Now I'll go back to this purple I used at the very beginning, so I will mix it better with this dark brown, almost black. Okay, on my lower eyelid I'm going to apply a shade Desert Nougatowa palette. And before you say anything, yes, I always test eyeshadows without any specific base. I just test every single time eyeshadows the same way, so this time is no different. So I just apply this shade on my normal P. Louise base, not set it P. Louise base. And if I'm going to have a fallout, that's because I test eyeshadows this way. By the way, some of these shades and some of these palettes are, in my opinion, slightly maybe more chunky. Not like, don't worry, not like those gorgeous chunky multichromes. Not like that. But they are a little bit maybe more chunky. Mm, this chunkiness is more like in a resort palette, I think. So, you know, you feel that they are a little bit more chunky, but it's not impossible to take them with brush and to apply them on your eyelid even without special adhesive base with brush and so on. So the thing that I'm applying uh, more chunky eyeshadows without any specific base and without any wet brush and so on, it's not be that I don't know how to apply chunky eyeshadows. It's just the thing that first I'm testing and second thing I am too lazy to add some additional steps to my makeup look and I just don't like to do additional steps so I apply makeup as I do my tests. Well, at least most of the time. Okay, now I'm taking Lavendova Perla. I'm going to apply it in my outer part of this makeup like this. Yeah, some of these shades are more like toppers, so they have more transparent base, which is fine. Nice color. I mean, yeah, I swatched it, but you know, it's a different thing on eyelids and different thing on forearm. And now to not only be within of those pinks and sad purples, I'm taking shade Organza. And I'll just apply it in the inner part of this makeup, of course, mixing it with shades that are around by simple tapping. I think that I should do this makeup a little bit differently, although it doesn't look really bad. It's just, you know, some proposition. I didn't have really any plan for today's makeup. I still don't have any plan for today's makeup. I just wanted to mess around with some colors and that's it. Just to see how I'm going to work with these shades how much I'm going to have fallout, how much I'm going to have those particles <laughs> over my face. But I think that this look isn't that bad. No, it's not that bad. It's even interesting, although... I think that I'm going to use additional eyeliner, not from the collection. Like in this collection, I don't think there was any eyeliner. But I think that it will be just nice 
additional step, um, just something that will match this. I mean, this. <laughs> so I think that I add something um, to this makeup look, something extra. Uh, I'll do my face and I think that uh, this will be it. I'm going to just tell you my first impression thoughts about the stuff I tested today. You have absolutely no idea how hard it was to match <laughs> my whole face to only this part of my face and how hard it was to apply actually makeup around my lips because the only thing I've done is apply this product more just once again to have this really nice glow but the color is still on my lips since I first apply it with you at the beginning of this video so uh, yeah and I knew that <laughs> this will be such interesting color I used to use such things once and um, so I know that it looks pretty much intense on my lips I have no idea how it will look on your lips and this is probably the biggest minus of this product you will never know however if you want to try you want to try see how such product will look on your lips if you will like it or not then probably glam shop product will be the best to do it because it's cheap also it's very comfortable on the lips I have to admit it's really nice the applicator is so soft it's just nice it's nice in touch on myself this color is definitely like extremely intense i am not sure if i'm going to use this product in uh, this whole review series i have to match something to this lip color and unfortunately i had to blend two blushes with each other and still this is not the color i want to have on my face so uh, next time if I would use this lip gloss I will have to think about something else probably I will use eyeshadow in such um, well fuchsia color because in my opinion this is like hot pink fuchsia I would recommend you this product if you like such magic lip glosses but if not then uh, stay away from it obviously let's talk about palettes of course briefly because this is only my first impression if you know glam shop and you like their formulas their products and you just want to some of this palette because you want just color story then this is just glam shop formula i didn't notice at least today and also while swatching these eyeshadows anything suspicious of course i'm going to test every single shade on my face so we will see but honestly i don't think that we will have any issues with some kind of oversaturation or something like that because today i even applied the darkest brown on this purple and everything looks fine however this is only my first impression opinion these are not my final Final thoughts. This is not my final verdict. Seriously, I recommend these palettes, but I can't say that yes, 100% of these shades within these palettes are okay because I really haven't tested them, them yet. But so far, taking into account only these shades that I was working with today, this is, in my opinion, just normal, decent glam shop formula. Normal mattes, gorgeous blending, great pigmentation, shimmers are awesome. These shimmers are definitely something special because the amount of these particles, the amount of this glass wet effect is extraordinary so if this is something you're looking for then definitely you have to have these palettes in your collection especially that once again lamp shop is cheap of course this nougatova palette is more a nude palette and i can't wait to use it because i can see some more cool toned shades here and um, by the way don't be fooled by these shades these three i know i know you saw swatches but still um this shade is this and this one is even 
Like you can see that it's shimmer, this looks like matte, this is satin. These two are also satins, but more intense ones. But when you are talking about sorbety palette, and when we are talking about muślinowa palette, then here is whole craziness, just whole new shimmery world. And on the one hand, I think that it's a problem to have eight shimmers and four matte shades and they are not even like, you know, complete matte shades because we don't have in this palette the lightest, the darkest shade as well as in this palette there's no such a thing but I understand why Glam Shop released such palettes with so many shimmers because actually shimmers are like the main star of Glam Shop. Glam Shop is known because of their shimmers, so I understand the ideas for these two palettes. Plus, let's be honest, Vacation 70s. Like, mm, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect, not only for 70s in my opinion, this is only perfect color story for 90s. I just traveled in time today, especially with this lip product. When I was watching these palettes, I was constantly like, wow, this is duochrome, wow, this is also duochrome, wow, this is more like multi-chrome, wow, what a shimmer, and I couldn't get rid of all these particles. Right now on my eyes, I would say that this shimmer that I have in my inner side because in my inner corner I have just highlighter and it's duochrome because it's something between pink purple and has greenish gold reflect amazing absolutely amazing I think that I can't say more about these palettes and these shades I'm definitely going to have more to say after using just more eyeshadows still I will have to apply these three liquid eyeshadows on my eyelids. In one of my video or just in one of my upcoming videos, <laughs> I am not sure if I'm going to use them with this vacation collection. Probably not, probably I will mix them with uh, maybe Resort palette or Oriental palette or any other Glam Shop palette that I have or even with totally different not exactly Glam Shop palette I think that in my next video I'll go back to Multichrome and then I'll go back to this collection and then maybe again Multichrome still I have this one Multichrome, this chunk, you know, you know which one if you are if you are up to date with this multi-chrome series, you know which one. And you know what? I haven't even crushed it yet anyway. Let me know what you think of this collection. Let me know especially what you think of these two palettes that have so not many matte shades. <laughs> Tell me what you think about this product and if you ever had something like this. I am very curious. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, for being here. Once again, I remind you about membership zone down below in the description box you have all the details and as always i love you very very much and i see you soon bye